Andy Johnson. We are reviewing some research semantic processing systems with children with dyslexia. Uh, background, the brain uses three systems to identify words as we read. Systems, various parts of the brain work together. The semantic cueing systems, we use the context of the sentence to recognize the word. Syntax, grammar, word order, sentence structure and phonological or graphophonological letters and sounds. And this tends to be the least efficient cueing system that the brain uses in terms of processing time and space. This is the neurocognitive model of reading. This shows that more information flows from the cortex to the thalamus than from the thalamus up during the act of reading. And we have the three cueing systems phonological, syntax, and semantics. This is a study. Those are the authors, 2008. That is the title and the journal Neuroimaging. There are many brain imaging studies focusing just on words, and this focuses then just on the phonological cueing system. This study used sentence reading to focus or to isolate on semantic cueing systems. The question was, would semantic effects during sentence processing affect students with dyslexia differently from control groups. Students were asked to read sentences instead of words, and the sentence contrasted. There were some semantically congruous primed sentences versus incongruous or unprimed. For example, the sky is blue. That's a congruous. The sky primes the word blue. The sky is fat. That's incongruous. The sky does not prime the word fat. Children were intermittently asked to press a button after the sentence. Yes, the sentence made sense. No, the sentence did not make sense. Not after every sentence, but intermittently. Measures, they used yes or no questions. They measured the time response and also two types of brain uh, activation things, ERPN, functional magnetic resonance Im imaging. Subjects, children, 52, mean age, 11.5, 32 controls, 20 children with dyslexia. The results showed that semantic processing, the semantic cueing system, resulted in activation in left hemispheric regions of the inferior frontal and superior temporal cortex. So they found areas of the brain that were activated when this cueing system was used. However, students with dyslexia process semantic information differently from the control group. Children with dyslexia showed less activation in that hemispheric region. As well, children in control groups responded faster and more accurately to semantic questions. That's what they found. So the discussion is there are differences in brain processes during sentence reading between control group children and children with dyslexia. The study was consistent with other studies showing semantic processing deficits in children with dyslexia. Impairment with children with dyslexia, it's not just the phonological cueing system. They may also experience difficulties with semantic cueing systems, and I would posit syntactic cueing systems as well. So what you can take from this study, identifying words is not the same as creating meaning with a sentence, two different processes. Children with dyslexia differ from controls and how they use their semantic cueing system during the reading. Reading a sentence is different than uh, identifying words, by the way. And interventions with children with dyslexia should involve more than simply phonics. It should involve all three cueing systems, so the semantic, the syntactic, and the phonological cueing system.